Det er snart en kigger op skyder. Most of our movies are from remote places all over the world, but this time we are right home in good old Denmark. Even though Denmark is a very small country, it does offer some spectacular hunting and some surprisingly remote and wild locations. Denmark has more than 400 islands and most of these are uninhabited. It's January, it's cold, and Emil and I are on our way to one of these islands to help the owner manage the fallow deer population. Our captain Kenneth will take us to the island to drop us off, and then we will be on our own for almost a week. The boat ride will take almost an hour, depending on the weather and the mood of the sea. This morning, it's a beautiful day for sailing, But when it comes to the ocean, you never know what might happen, and the weather can quickly change. Kenneth is a very experienced captain, and he has sailed to this specific island many times, so we are in good hands. The island is 100 hectares, and it's located in the middle of the ocean. It used to be inhabited by a farmer and a lighthouse keeper, but nowadays only the fallow deer and hundreds of seals thrive here, with very little human disturbance. We've made it to the island. We've offloaded all our kit to the beach. And now I'm heading up to fetch the, the ATV. With the ATV, we're gonna pick up all the kit and then go to the cabin that's up behind me. That's where we're staying. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining and i can't wait to get hunting because this island is truly magical it's very very uh, uneven terrain we've got some forests some bushes and some open grass areas the island is about 100 hectares 
And I assume we've got something in the line of 200 fallow deer here. Uh, so every year we aim to shoot somewhere between 50 to 80, maybe 100, depending on how the animals look. But uh, it's a beautiful day and in a few hours we'll start hunting. So we're out hunting and we just spotted a big group of fallow deer. Um, the point now is to shoot a calf, preferably a calf, just for, for eating. Uh, we do have some noodles and pasta and stuff, but it would be nice with a, a young calf because it's really nice and tender meat. So gonna try and follow this group and see if we can get one of the calves to uh, get in position for a shot but we're hunting and the weather has actually changed quite a bit and uh, now it's overcast and quite windy but it doesn't matter too much we're hunting and it's great and Emil is ready somewhere there you are <laughs> so let's go been standing about 20 minutes we got contact with this group of fellow deer it's about 20 or 30 uh, variation of some young stags a lot of does and then maybe five or six calves they're worried but they don't know we're here and they they keep moving back and forth and then they bunch up there's been a lot of shooting possibilities where the calves are standing sideways you know perfect shot but there's two or three animals behind it and every time it seems like there's a chance another animal steps in either in front or behind so now we're just waiting for a calf to be positioned so there's no one in front or behind 
we've got this small window um, underneath a tree so we're quite limited but we can't really move anyway because they'll just spot us so I think the best chance is just to wait and see what happens That took a long time, but finally there was a calf standing sideways, no animals in front or behind. I took the shot, I could see it hit on the shoulder, it turned around. A lot of blood coming out of, of the opposite shoulder. It wobbled a little bit and then tumbled and now it's down. So a great, great end to a very, very cold uh, stalk. And now we can uh, eat some lovely venison tonight, which will be really nice. So uh, let's go have a look. Oh, such a pretty animal. These fallow calves are just so adorable. And the, the head is still short and long, long eyelashes. They are just the prettiest thing. But also some of the most tender and most lovely meat. So this one will be eaten by Emil and I, so we won't go starving on this remote island. Um, it took a long time. We, I think we were there more than 20 minutes. And we, we came to a point where the whole, whole herd of, of fellow deer was, they were worried, but they didn't really know where we were. So they were moving back and forth and all the does were looking, the calves not so much. There were some young stags. They weren't too worried. They didn't know what was going on. And I think there was, I don't know, 20, 30 animals and a lot of does and then five or six calves. And it just took a long time before one calf was positioned so there was no animals in front or behind. And finally this one stood broadside. I could see the shot hit right on the shoulder. It turned. I see a lot of blood coming out of the opposite shoulder. It kind of stumbled a little bit, came back and fell over. So um, a beautiful end to a very cold and, uh, and uh, troublesome stalk. And now we'll eat like kings tonight because this is the best, most free range meat you can ever get. Mm. 